nice You should open your heart that wanna see what you so like Low life, but I'm telling you to go to here Today we have a brand new update that they are talking about and it's iOS 17.1 This update is in sight and the release of it is imminent So pretty soon it will be coming out and I did download it and install it on my device You can see it came in at 6.36 gigs so quite a big and substantial update and i noticed that while downloading this update my remaining time instead of counting down it actually started to count forward so you can see here from my recording it went from two minutes to three minutes to four minutes and all the way to about five minutes even though i didn't actually change my network it's pretty fast i'm on 1g but i'm now up to date and if we go into settings and go to the about you can see the version that i have ios 17.1 with the build number 21b74 now this update has a lot of minor changes that have been introduced now i updated from this from ios 17.0.3 so let me share what's changed with this update so one of the coolest things that this update introduces you can see we have this animation for the flashlight every time you turn off and turn on the flashlight you can see there's this cool animation that shows up it doesn't really change as you change the depth of the flashlight or the level of the flashness but you can see when you turn on your flashlight it comes up and it's a pretty cool and neat thing that's here with this update now also another change that's here with this it has to do with the action button so in your settings if you go to where it says action button and this has its own standby section if you have the new iphones you have new features that you can enable in order for you to be able to avoid accidental presses or touches while your phone is in the pocket now another change also that's here has to do with the app store so if you open up your app store like this there's a quick way that you can get to the search instead of tapping search and then going to the top bar and then tapping again if you double tap search you can see it already pulls up the keyboard and you can search up something like whatsapp or whatever application you want to download on your device which is faster and a more convenient easier way to be able to access this if you go into settings and go to general and go to airdrop you can see we have a new section that has been added that you can toggle off or toggle on and this section has to do with using airdrop over cellular and it says continue to send and receive content when wi-fi is not available during airdrop so this is good and if you want to test this out you can send a large file to someone and then switch off wi-fi and switch off your bluetooth as long as you have a stable cellular connection it will continue to send that file over cellular connection which is a good thing that was promised with ios 17 but we are now getting it with ios 17.1 now there is a change for those that use apple music as you know i use spotify but if you use apple music there is a change and also it's a cool thing that i get six months of apple music for free and uh, they're trying to pull me away from spotify you know what i'm saying but you see it right there so what i'm showing you here has to do with uh, favoriting your favorite music so you notice the cool animation that's there if you found find the song that you like and you click on the star there that's beside the song it will now add it to your automatically added playlist of favorite songs and i'll just play it again so that you see and then that playlist can be accessed by you anytime so that's a pretty cool neat new feature and then another change that has been added here if you have the apple watch series 9 or the apple watch ultra 2 if you go into your watch app right there and then you go to where it says gestures right there now since i have the original apple watch ultra 1 if you have the ultra 2 and series 9 you see the double tap gesture that allows you to use your thumb and index finger to be able to use the function and access the main features of an application with your apple watch now 
there's also additional changes when it comes to standby mode so if you go into your settings and go to standby mode you now have more customization for display and then also when you connect your charger and be able to st preview different standby modes you have more features and more colors that you can customize with standby mode not a feature that i use more often but it's good to see that this is here now if you use books i'll be happy to let you know that the books app has been added reading now has now been updated and it's now easier you can see read now section has content from your recent read up articles and it just looks better and you can stream or go side to side or go to where it says oh and you'll be able to see the different books and the library and a few minor wording changes have been added to this update now that's the book app if you use it now another thing that's here with ios 17.1 it adds support for the nintendo switch n64 controller so you can be able to go in there and then you go to your bluetooth and you see that you'll be able to connect to your controller right there now i don't have that nintendo switch or nintendo n64 controller but it's a similar thing and if you're playing a game that supports that controller then you'll be able to access it and be able to play those games now that's nothing that's something that's good also if you have like a iphone 15 pro max or 14 pro max or iphone 15 or 14 plus and you always find a hard time to reach you know the top section there you can easily you know use reachability like this but now you can see that that has changed the border that's here is actually black before it used to carry this color of the background color of the application but you see that that border is now black and it just creates a contrast between the active section of the screen and the unactive section of the screen so not something that i use often but it's good to see that apple has added this also if in messages if you use it quite often and you search for different messages and documents and you were not finding them there's a fix with that where now search is working better within the apple iMessages app or just regular messages and there's a fix that has to do with uh, oled screens now oled screens suffer from something that's called image burning whereby if you keep your device on the same screen or on the same uh, same icons on the screen for a long period of time sometimes those icons even though they are not there they still remain on the screen some people call it like ghost icons or ghost images but apple refer to it as image persistent because it's not permanently embedded it had to do with a bug that is there with the os and that has been fixed with ios 17.1 and if you're experiencing that that should have been fixed now by the time you update to ios 17.1 Good news for those that are waiting for new devices. As you can see, Apple today has announced a new event. It's called Scary Fast. And this one is a little bit weird because it's going to take place on October 30th, 2023, of course. But notice the time. Instead of being in the morning, it's actually 5 p.m. Pacific time. So for some other regions, it's going to be like midnight or past midnight. But this is the event and it's called Scary Fast. Expect some new hardware like new iPads and new Macs. That's what we are looking forward to. But other than that, this is just a small update for you so that you know what's going on. And this is how iOS 17.1 has been for me on my device. Let me know what you think about this video and if you're going to be updating right away. Peace. Contagious is my anger, running around in the city, I'm talking